All right, so I just want to talk about this film shit one time. I think that I'm in a place right now where I'm ready and I just want to document it and I'm excited. I haven't begun the script, which is a major part of everything. For my first short film, I just want to start with a first and kind of like freestyle everything. I know that's not the way to do things and I'll learn as, I'll, as I'm going. I truly believe that I can freestyle only because of what I used to do when I used to do music. I still do music, but a lot of it was freestyle, like just off the dome, off the top, whatever you want to call it. I would simply get in there and just do one line and then I'll just think about it and then do another line. How I plan to take that style and do it with movies is kind of dope and exciting for me because for one, I don't know how this shit is going to end. I'm going to start with something, freestyle the next scene, and, and then I have options along the way to finish the next scene or, or have a proper ending or, or a cliffhanger. In a sense, it's like writing, but... It's also like where I'm just, I'm having fun with it. Usually when I did write, it was more serious things that I would uh, write about, you know, that I felt passionate about or things that just, it was just easy to write about it. But whenever I was freestyling, I didn't need that much time. It was like, all right, I got, let me turn this AC on. Anyways, well, I got hot. All right, let me get that. Yes, Ane. I Why'd you, come on, I'm recording. What's up? I, didn't, I don't know where it's at, I didn't take it from you. See, this is gonna be part of my struggle and why I feel like I have to freestyle it. As a father, I don't really have time to have fun. And to me, this is fun for me. I don't have time to be eight hours a day working on a film and just constantly just putting in work like that. I gotta get in where I fit in. Also, you know, I do a lot of production for a lot of different clients. I stay sharpening that sword. I feel comfortable with the tools that I have now, where I'm at in life. I'm just ready to kind of do this and tackle this because I've been able to make music. Whenever I start making movies and I have other people involved, I'm not gonna have a crew of 10 in the beginning. It's not gonna be on a Hollywood set. It's basically gonna be one of the homies with me. We're gonna go out here and shoot this scene real quick, all right? How are we gonna shoot this scene when I have no cameraman, it's just me and the homie? All right, so I'm gonna use one of my tools that follow us or something, right? I come in, we can block it real quick. If you don't know what blocking means, basically, where do you sit down? Where do you stand up? Where do you walk to while you're doing the scene and saying your lines? And that's the thing, I'm not, I'm not really gonna wanna script it like that. I'm gonna have ideas of what I wanna say. In this case, you're mad at the fact that, or your character didn't get what he wanted, so he's trying to express himself and you might come up with different ways to express yourself. That's gonna be the gist of it. But from there, we can move on to the next scene because we, you know, we can always ask the, the necessary questions like, all right, why would this character want to move like that? How would he be able to with how he moved? I feel like it's gonna be too easy. I'm not gonna make it hard at all. My films might not be the greatest films at all. I don't give a damn. I'm just having fun with it, and that's and that's the bottom line. Nah, for real though. But back to what I was saying, the struggles with it. The struggle is always gonna be there. I'm a. I'm not ever gonna want to not have my kids around me because that's just not the type of person. I'm gonna always. So you might see a scene and my kids in the background playing Bugs Bunny or some dumb shit or screaming and laughing and fighting and shit. You just might hear that shit. That's gonna be part of it. Like, you you gonna hear that shit. And I'm okay with that. It's gonna be real deal, but it's gonna, there's gonna be a story there to tell. I feel like also, by the time we get into it and we're actually filming, we could kinda see where the, the end is. It's like a, a game. You don't know what's gonna happen. Am I gonna keep you on the edge? I want you to feel it too. I don't want it to be predictable and feel like, man, like, I. I had no idea that was coming. I have no idea. There is no wrong way and there is no right way to do things, right? Because it's just me doing this shit. Anyways, I'm out. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming with it.